Hey guys, so if you're wondering what's going on at New Tech lately, we've been working on new baits. So one of the things that we're launching this year is the Elite Series spinner baits. This is a tandem spin frame and uh, got some, one thing is the they'll all feature the grass jig head. So that's number one, which the grass jig head has our five watt trocar hook on it. The other thing that's neat in the tandem spin frame is this little feature right here. Not only can you still change out your head like we always have been able to by simply doing that but I wasn't getting any bites on that so we're going to change it up we're going to put that on but we're also going to change out the the blades So there's one blade, and notice I'm not having to tear the spinner bait up. If I can keep a hold of that. Hands are wet. Like there, completely different spinner bait. And how long did that take? Not very long. And we can go right back fishing down the bank. Completely different setup. Head size, skirt color, blade configuration. So if we'd wanted to put uh, Colorado blades on there, we could have done that or put a mixed blade where you got a Colorado and a willow. Change your colors. So, just like everything that we do at New Tech, we do it for fishability and to catch fish. So, we got the run through frame. So, let's, we've showed you that before, but see, I bent that out of, out of tune. And we can, catch it running across the water you can see it's running dead straight you can't do that with your other spinner baits also notice when it comes through the water the the heads running level like it's supposed to and on a normal spinner bait like you guys have normally been using, when the blades level out, well then the head's hanging down like this coming through the water with the hook hanging down and that's not, that's not normal at all. So this is a, a lot better setup and you can slow roll this at a third of the speed you can a normal spinner bait because the frame's floating it doesn't have to hold the weight of the head up plus having that grass jig head on there it comes through cover just like nothing you can fish it through any kind of wood cedar trees you're not going to be hung up and you're going to have a lot better hookup ratio so it's a it's a much better fishing tool one of the other things that that we have new this year is we're introducing our football head in the Elite Series. So, of course, it'll feature our custom 5 watt trocar hook, which is a much stouter hook than the Mustad hook. The Mustad hook's a good hook, but it's nothing compared to this one. The other thing is, because this is a custom hook, it fits the head like it should. If you, on our uh, 
Pro Series football heads, the eyelet comes out up here and it doesn't fit right there on that point like that does. See, that fits perfect. So that means it'll slide over stuff easier. You don't have that catch in there. So that's another one of the things. Another new bait that we launched that I actually have fished with it for two years till I got all the quirks and stuff and then to see if it will actually catch fish is in our Elite Blade series we launched this it's called the Mega Elite Blade and if you see it's got a monster size uh, blade on there and what that does it's got vibration like crazy and uh, actually I think this is going to have some shallow water applications just like that stump right there well you can just see how I just wham that right around that end of that stump I'll throw it over there again and then I'm just going to crash it into that thing but see I just bounced it off of that I don't know if I get a loop it around this other side and loop it around the tree. See, it just came right around it. So actually, I don't know if we can pick that up better over here. We can see that coming through the water. But it's very erratic. And you can see the so I threw out there I landed in about 15 feet of water right there where I threw now I'm on the bottom now watch this to show you how much deep water that you can cover with this thing And this is how I fish it. I crank it along, then stop. And you need to hold tension on it when you stop it so it keeps the blade out in front of the head and doesn't fold back up on top of the hook. But see, I just came through a big old bunch of log piles right there. There I'm riding up over another one. So the applications for this, you look at my rod tip. Any place where you're fishing your deep crankbaits, you can fish this as a replacement. You got wiggle, you got movement, you got erratic action, you got actually extra noise because that blade is clicking on the front of the head. You can see the paint's completely wore off of that and you can see up here where the blade's been hitting the nose of that thing so it's making a clicking noise get a little light on that so i'll scoot out here a little further so right now the trolling motor that's it's 30 feet deep right there so i'm going to throw parallel out there with this 30 feet water and this is downstream at night uh, where we've been catching our fish is 30 feet deep. Been catching them just the just the living tar out of the things. There, I'm on the bottom already, 30 feet. Boop, 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 boop. And I changed speeds on it some to uh, riding over a tree right now. There, it finally settled on the tree and I see I'm climbing up over the tree there pulled over the top and then letting it go back down and I like to quiver it a little bit as it's swinging back well, this thing's swinging back, it's just drifting around too, so that motion there's attracting. But see, I fished that entire cast in the strike zone where if you're throwing a, 
a deep running crankbait, there's, I mean, you got to throw it 10 miles and then you're just in the strike zone a very short distance of your cast. This thing here, we're, we're fishing the entire cast in the strike zone. You can't do that with a crankbait. Plus crankbait can't come through everything that this is coming through. So we offer this in a three quarter and a one ounce size. And so don't let that heavy weight bother you for shallow water applications because that bigger blade, you know, like in, we don't have vegetation here, but if you had submergent vegetation because of the weight of this thing, you can actually burn it with some speed. See how fast I'm fishing that? And then stop it. And I'm coming down a slope now. See, it already hit bottom again. So there's not any way that you can keep a, a, any crankbait in the strike zone the entire distance of your cast. So this is going to be a staple in your tackle box. It's just unbelievable how many fish that we've caught on this this summer. And we've we've caught them ever from all the way from eight foot out to 30 just kind of followed them from transition from spawning out to where they're at right now at 30 feet deep and catching them on this thing the entire distance so that's some of the things that's going on at new tech to improve your fishing Bye.